Merhaba arkadaşlar, yanımızda İtalya'dan üniversite danışmanı Georgiana Hanım var. Kendisiyle kısacık bir sohbetimiz olacak. Hi Georgiana, hi, welcome hi. to Turkey. Thank you very much, very happy to be here. Um, is there uh, still uh, interest in uh, learning Italian language to study universities in Italy? Yes, I think that there is a growing interest in the Turkish market, it's very important for us because uh, Italy offers a very good alternative uh, to uh, maybe other destinations for academic studies because there is a, a wide range of universities and uh, they are relatively inexpensive, so with good tuition fees and a good academic offer. Um, do you teach Italian to students? Yes, we teach Italian to students. Uh, we have a special course also for Italian for academic use. So for those students that intend to study at, at an Italian university. Um, so if the student is uh, in A1 level, how long would it take to learn Italian and to be able to start to a university in Italy? Uh, Italian universities wish students to have a B2 level, so an, an upper intermediate level of Italian. So from an A1 level, it would take like s approximately six months. Our advice is that uh, one possible advice is to take, maybe to start learning Italian locally, so in, uh, in Turkey, slowly, so to reach an A2 level, and with that come to Italy and maybe they can attend a course for 16 weeks or, or 12 weeks, depending how long they can stay. But I would, I would suggest not to start as a total beginner, but to start A1. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah, A1 to get some lessons, yeah. So in Italy, state universities are really well and among the 1,000 uh, in the world rankings. Yes, actually we had uh, recently in the QS 2018, uh, Politecnico of Milano is among the 50 best universities in the world for QS and the Department of uh, Design of Politecnico of Milano is among the 10 best faculty of design in the world. So. It's very good. La Sapienza also ranks um, among the 200 best university. Bologna, there are several Italian universities in this ranking. And they are all state schools? They are all state schools. Um, and approximately how, how much is the cost of tuition? Tuition varies from uh, a cost of 2,000 up to 4,000 per year. Yeah. Um, are there also uh, programs taught in English? Yes. In Italy? Yes, yes. Recently there is this development for some programs taught uh, uh, entirely, fully in English. So there is medicine, so the IMAT test, that is an admission test. There are uh, medicine taught in English in several universities. I think at the moment more than 10 is the, is the offer uh, for a full degree course of medicine. Then there is architecture taught in English only in two universities, Politecnico of Milano and Torino. And then in Torino, there is also uh, four or five degree courses in engineering fully taught uh, in uh, English. And other universities offer also an English track for degree courses in, in economics. Uh, when we uh, talk about Italy, we always uh, think design. So Italians do design very well. Uh, are there any design faculties in the state schools as well? The most famous one is uh, Politecnico di Milano, which is a totally design, it's a design faculty and it's very famous. It's, it has also, also divided in various degree courses from product design to communication, interior, fashion design. Of course, very famous, limited number of places, highly competitive. Then design though can be studied, but in, um, also in, uh, at the University of Florence, they have a very good design faculty uh, it's industrial design, so the, the degree course is industrial design, but it has a very good reputation. Another faculty excellent for design as well as architecture is Venice, UA. There is, uh, it's an architecture institute with two design degrees, one in fashion, one in uh, design, product design, and also very, very, very good. Um, they are in the Italian language. They are the courses for design are entirely taught in Italian. So, if a student wants to study in these very good universities, 
they can come to your school, yes. study Italian, yeah. and then uh, able to start to study design in these faculties, the, these universities. Exactly. The track we suggest if a student is, wants to concentrate, for example, on design, is to start with the language, because they have to reach a B2 level of language. Uh, we can help the students with it. They can do also a preparatory course with us in design, so we help them to give them the right knowledge of history of design and some other things they need to know for their, for their admission test. And, uh, and that is a good way to prepare to start uh, and then study in these really excellent uh, faculties. Good. Uh, last uh, question is regarding to gastronomy. Many students uh, love Italian food. Um, do you have any suggestion? Uh, I mean, I'm not talking about the university uh, programs only, just for uh, having some certificate courses, etc. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, when we talk about gastronomy, the first school that comes into my mind, which is the most uh, well known, is Alma, and it's uh, in Parma, because it, uh, it, it is uh, a higher level of, uh, of teaching. They have also courses in English and Italian and it is really, uh, they, they do both uh, cuisine and patisserie, it's highly specialized. So, and they also have not only um, like 12 week courses or also very specialized courses. So this is the first thing that comes into my mind, a little bit more structured. Then in Italy, of course, there are, depending where you go, there are some schools of, of uh, cooking schools that offer amateur cooking schools. For example, we offer one at our school where you can combine Italian in the morning and study and have cooking classes in the afternoon and the cooking classes are run in a, in a, a cooking school, a partner cooking school. This is also a possibility for a student and the courses can be two weeks up to four weeks. If they want to study something more structured because it's going to be their profession, then of course this is another yeah. thing. Okay, thank you very much for You're this welcome. information. Teşekkürler. So I wait for you in, uh, in Italy. Bye-bye. <laughs>